They can beat us until the music hidden in our bones escapes through the tears in our flesh and the freshly crimson crisson soil amplifies our screams, magnifies our dreams, distorts our people's silence and increases the urgency of the tempo of our cries for liberation. Our blood will be a libation until Amanda becomes the hit song played and repeat in the club of every unborn child's pals, ready to dance, stomp their feet, jiggle their limbs and bop their heads to the rhythm of change. Will be the bridge birth of a new age and freedom will be our labor's wage. Our rage is armored by karma and detonated by ancestral trauma. Our wounds are a brilliant tangerine gangrene festering from within the thin skin of democracy and it refuses to be covered in diplomacy. Draped in black, gold and green and pacified by golden handshakes. For fuck's sakes, we're nothing like our leaders, believe us. Instead, we are hardened infantile soldiers waging the war as our parents shied away from. We refuse to conform to the norm because home remains a nameless blob on the southern tip of a continent that has been looted and treated like a giant buffet table for the West and the rest to feast on and now they quest for riches has them harvesting the best of our minds and imprisoning our young. We're a high-strung and homesick for the Azania of Sobukwa's dream revolution, which we cannot see in the horizon, for it is clouded by Madiba's rainbow, and Mujaji refuses to cry, so she's left that to our mothers and fathers who scrub the kitchen floors and prune the gardens of homes we will never afford to buy them with or without the benefit of the lobotomy they call an education. We're tired. But we will only rest when tables turn, for we yearn for the revolution and the seed of Uhuru that was planted while we chanted Pambiri na Chimurenga and let it burn. Then Pambiri na Chimurenga, Pambiri na Chimurenga and channeled Awina Sankara and traveled all the way to Gavara, to Lamamba, to Marx, to Dubois, to Morrison, to Mbege to Makaeke, to Matigizela Mandela, to Plaki, to Dube, to First, to Brooks, to Tubman, to Kamata knows who because the curriculum deliberately makes a mockery of our identity and history. But in protest, we raise our battered fists towards the galaxies until the sun sees a reflection brighter than her shine in our grime and sweat glistened countenances as our nostrils flare to neutralize the tear gas in the air the same way our parents found community here in these concentration camps that failed to kill our souls. The night is dark. But the light trapped in our souls will lead us home to a new day. This land shall learn to see us. No, this land shall learn to free us. This land shall learn to speak us, not in English or Mandarin, but in clicks, hieroglyphs, and phonetics draped in melanin. This land shall learn to treat us like her own. Lizobol. 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 Namaste. Amunra Zoike.